السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو دیویژن اسکول میں پخاس ڈے اسٹوڈنٹس ایز یو نو ایم ٹیچر سر ذشان خالد ڈے اسٹوڈنٹس ان پریویس ویڈیوز وی لرن ایڈیشن اینڈ سبٹریکشن آف الجبرک ایکسپریشن وی لرن ملٹیپلیکیشن اینڈ ڈویژن آف الجبرک ایکسپریشن ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن مینیپولیشن آف الجبرک فارمولا ان ادر ورڈس ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اے فارمولا اور ہاؤ ٹو نو دا ویلیوز آف ان نون ڈے اسٹوڈنٹس Before moving towards proper solution of the questions and proper process of solving these type of questions, let's learn one thing here that if the value of a given expression on left hand side, this is left hand side and this is right hand side, okay? If on the left hand side the value is of plus at right hand side it will be minus. If here it is minus at that side it will be plus. If at this side it is multiply the other side it will be division and if at this side it is division the other side will be multiplication and reverse of it also or they are the reverse of theirs also dear students this is going to help you a lot in making or creating the formulas to know the value of unknown dear students let's have few examples here so that you can solve your homework easily and keep this in your mind your homework is to solve question number one two and three of exercise 6c Let's move towards few examples here. So dear students, here are few examples. I have taken one one question from each of your questions. That is your homework means question number one, two and three of exercise number 6C. Let's see how to create formulas and uh, maybe uh, for sure this will help you in solving your homework also. As I told you, you have to look for the right hand side and left hand side, the signs. Look for the signs. Now, Question number one is saying that the subject of formula should be y means we should create a formula where the unknown value is of y. Let's see how we will uh, find that or how we will create that formula. Now let's write this first of all again. Keep this in mind uh, that whatever the subject is it should be on left hand side. Okay, now the subject here is y, so I need y at this side and I don't need these a, x and b. So let's see, this is here of plus, at left hand side this is of plus, at right hand side will become minus. So this will be in next up, b, y is equal to k, this is of plus and at that, at that side will be of minus, a, x, okay. Now, as you can see here, I don't need this B also here. So, this is here multiplying by, at that side what it will do is division. So, your formula is ready, K minus AX upon B, simple. Just look for the signs of right hand side and left hand side, shift towards the other side and you will get your formula. Let's see. Uh, another example is waiting over there that is having fraction with it and uh, the subject of this formula is P. So let's write it uh, again first of all 5Q minus R is equal to 2P upon 3. Now the subject of the formula as you know is P so you don't need this 2 and 3 here. This is here dividing so at that side it will be multiplying for sure. 2p is equal to 5q minus r and it will be multiplied with 3 okay so this will be next step 2p is equal to you have to solve the bracket first 3 5 15 q and plus minus minus 3 r the 3 r here now as i told you the subject of the formula is p or means the unknown value that we have to find is p so we don't need this 2 here, this here is multiplying at that side it will be dividing. So the formula is ready, now you can find the value of unknown pretty easily, 2 here will be dividing and this is your answer. 
I hope so. This will help you. Let's move towards the last example of ours. That is question number three. And here the subject of formula is H. But sir, here is a cube root. What to do with this one? For removing this cube root, what do we have to do is to take cube on both sides. Okay. So let's uh, write this first of all by cubing on both sides. This will be, look here, h minus k cube on this side is equal to m cube. Now, as the value of this radical or this cube root is 1 upon 3, this will be cancelled with 3. So, you will have h minus k is equal to m cube. Okay. Now, what is the subject of the formula? That is h. We need just h here. We don't need this mi minus k here. So, this is of minus at this side. At the other side, it will be plus. So, h is equal to m cube plus k. And your formula is ready. Simple. So, look for the signs on right hand side, left hand side. And look for the subject of the formula. And bang, you are done with the uh, formula and the answer will be in front of you inshallah for question and quiz please join our live session and if you are unable to join our live session due to any reason you can text me anytime on school's whatsapp group we'll meet in next video till next video take care allah